Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho back with another video. Today I want to talk about the HyperX Cloud 3. Now the HyperX Cloud 2 is probably one of the most popular competitive headsets ever. Like if you kind of look at the amount of people using it in Valorant and CSGO, it's about like 25, 26% of the pros are using that headset, which is insane. So you can only imagine that this is going to be one of the best competitive headsets going forward as well. Now there's a lot of improvements that they have made that really help kind of the imaging or the directionality of kind of hearing your enemies. I think it has vastly improved and I think it's probably one of the best ones I have ever tested. So I am currently Ascendant 3 in Valorant. So I test this in game and I can definitely tell you that it is something special. Now let's talk about the sound. We're going to compare it to the other HyperX's. We have the Alpha and the Alpha S. So, you know, I definitely have a lot of experience with the Cloud Alpha series because the Cloud Alpha was actually my first headset. So I definitely like this brand a lot. So we're going to test this out. We're going to tell you what I think about this. And yeah. So let's talk about the HyperX Cloud 3. So when it comes to kind of imaging or kind of directionality, this is probably the best headphone I've tested. Honestly, I think the tuning of it in combination with the angle drivers and some other aspects I want to talk about make this headphone just a beast. Like I've never pinpointed the enemy in the center so easily ever. I feel like the LLA headphone was Epos H6 Pro that did that really well. And this one definitely gives out a run for its money, especially at a $99 price point. And it being a closed back, I think it's going to be a lot of people's kind of alternative and you know first choice when it comes to fps gaming in my opinion so yeah when it comes to the build of this headset you can see we have the classic hyperx logo on the side but it's actually different it's actually angled this time and even this is this whole entire yoke is angled as well and i feel like the shape has been you know optimized a lot in my opinion and even the top band is actually a little different now it's not the hyperx but it has even plushier if that's even possible up top and it's softer. So I really like that about it. And you know, when it comes to the rest of the aesthetics, you have a microphone that's detachable, which is cool, but the cable for some reason isn't detachable. Now that's, you know, not my favorite thing because I actually did have the HyperX Cloud Alpha for so long that my cable actually broke. So, you know, I wish it did have a detachable cable, but it doesn't. And then you also have kind of the microphone you switch right here. And then you have a volume dock right here for, you know, changing your volume on the fly. And besides that, it's pretty similar to the classic, you know, Cloud Alpha in that sense. However, the other things that actually make the big difference, in my opinion, is, of course, the angle drivers. The original did not have that versus this one does. So you can see the angle design on this. It's quite impressive. And I think it makes a pretty big difference in my opinion. Like when it comes to the imaging, it feels a lot better than like I expected, honestly, because I compared it to the Cloud Alpha S, which also has angle drivers. As you can see, these also have an angle. For some reason, the Cloud 3, I think maybe it's more angled and somewhere optimized in its shape, but the imaging is actually better on this headphone. And one of the things that I was theorizing is probably has to do with not only the pads, but also the shape of this cup. I actually feel like I get a more consistent fit with this headphone than the older models. So something interesting to note is like, if you set this down, you can see how this actually opens up automatically. Like I'm not touching it versus here is the classic, you know, cloud alpha. And you can kind of see the cups just automatically kind of touch each other in the center, right? Versus this one actually kind of is contoured in a sense, right? Because if you look at the side of this cup, it's actually shaped like your ear. And this is also being shaped to like the size of your head. I really think that the combination of both, both of those things make this really comfortable, but also you get kind of a consistent fit every single time on your head. I feel like that consistency also makes it really good. And overall, I find it just to be so good for imaging because of all of those things combined. Last but not least, we have the kind of USB dongle that comes with. So you can plug in your 3.5 millimeter into the dongle and that'll give you kind of a built-in DAC and allow you to connect to like EQ and surround sound on your computer. 
And then of course we have the end, which is a modern standard because it has USB-C with a USB adapter. So nice to see. All right, now let's talk about everyone's favorite thing, which is sound. So the sound of the HyperX is pretty much the definition of neutral with a slight bass boost. There's definitely like not flat bass, but a slight bass boost, not that much. So you'll definitely hear the bass. You'll kind of feel the bass a little bit, but it's not gonna get in the way of the sound at all. I think it's just enough where you get the presence, but not so much that it's gonna, you know, distract you from like the gunshots. And when people are running around, it's just not gonna mask the sound. So the bass level on this is quite good. Now, when it comes to the mid range and the treble, that's where this excels. The thing I hated about the original Cloud 2 is that I didn't understand why people would keep getting it was I felt they were really, really sharp in the treble and they were uncomfortably sharp versus the Alpha was much more refined in the treble. You know, the interesting thing was when I comparing the treble of this one to the um, HyperX Cloud Alpha S, now this headphone has angle drivers at the same time, but it has a lot more bass more bassy and the mid-range is about the same but then the treble is definitely not as emphasized as the cloud 2 and you know what's interesting is when you're playing games i noticed that essentially what happened is is that this one is tuned where it's like i can hear the footsteps i can hear the gunshots very clearly which is really amazing and that combined with the good imaging i felt like i could track the targets a lot better actually on this one than the Alpha S. Now, the Alpha S is actually really good too, but it's just that combination of all those factors where this one, you know, because the treble was more muted, like I felt like I had to try harder to hear the gunshots and then come out as apparent as they were on the um, Cloud 3s. And then when it comes to the bass, it has more bass, so I can see that being a little bit more distracting in comparison to the Cloud 3s. And all that combination really actually made the Cloud 3 stand out more in my opinion and I definitely think it is actually a better competitive headset in that sense. Now when I was listening to music with both of these, I do think the Cloud 3s are a little bit more boring. The bass doesn't kind of, they don't have what I call it physicality, but basically you don't feel the bass as much on this headphone versus this one has more bass and you can actually feel the kind of bass hits a lot more. They feel like they're more around you. They're much more juicier. They go deeper, like the sub bass, the deeper bass is a lot better on the um, Cloud Alpha S. But you know, the thing is when you're playing video games, like the sub bass doesn't really matter that much in games. So like, it doesn't really ruin the performance of this in games. But in music and listening, I did notice that this to be better, the detail on the driver is also better on the Alpha S. So I think it does, clearly stand above it in the sense of like pure sound quality for listening to music but that didn't really translate when i was playing games like i feel like if i want to play competitive fps games i would honestly take the cloud threes over it it was pretty distinct difference still and then of course we have the cloud alpha honestly i think the cloud alpha is a better tuned and more detailed headphone than the cloud threes however it doesn't have any of that like angle driver type of stuff going on obviously Honestly, any of these three headphones you can play games on and you can do really well. I've been using it for the longest time. I had this headphone for like six years now, honestly. But if you ask me which headphone has the best directionality, it's definitely the Cloud 3s. I think I went on tangent talking about bass a lot for this, but honestly, the mid-range and the treble of this headphone, it's just slightly emphasized in treble, but voices, female voices sound you know, mostly natural, pretty good, honestly. And even male voices sound really natural. So like, you know, honestly, when you're listening to like normal content and like playing story mode games, I think the tuning is actually really, really good for that too. All right, so let's test out the microphone, right? And the headset. So we have the software. Software is pretty easy. You have simply your volume, your microphone, mic monitoring. Then you have spatula sound, and then you have equalizer. Now, when they tell you when you install these two, they might actually introduce more lag and latency because it needs to process the sound. And so it's like, I don't know why I'm reviewing because I wouldn't recommend you add more latency to your sound because of the processing if you want you know, all the competitive advantage in the world. But if you want to, you can use these features. You can click here and you can kind of edit them so you can have the different frequencies. So obviously, bass is anything from like 250-ish. 
and down so you can adjust that by you know just adjusting the sliders and what you want to do so really it's pretty simple not much to talk about and you know i hope you like the microphone because it does sound pretty good so in conclusion i definitely recommend this headset i think when it comes to like fps games competitive games and pinpointing your enemies this is one of the best i have ever tested and i think a lot of people will like it especially for its price point and how good it does that now obviously i do think you know the alpha s has you know a much better driver in this sense but the tuning and the actual performance of the imaging is actually better than the cloud alpha s so i can see people actually buying this over that and if you're playing competitive games and you don't really need as much bass as well then this is definitely the headset for you and seeing as the cloud 2 is so popular still after so many years you can definitely expect the cloud 3 to be on number top one on a lot of people's lists and a lot of people will be buying this headset too i think anyways please like and subscribe down below helps my videos out and i'll see you guys next time Bye-bye.